Is it any better here? Testing. Testing. Okay, that one works. Testing. Testing. Okay, so that one works. Testing. Testing. Okay. That works. And now that we've got that whole mess sorted out, now I can actually go on to play the Blame It game. <sighs> Good gravy. <laughs> Okay, so I just have to whittle away the time so that I can get the mandrake root for uh, Baba Yaga. There just isn't game. There just isn't game sound uh, in most areas. Like, if I go over here, you should be able to hear the magic shop. Were you able to hear a pshh, pshh there? Okay. Yeah, everything looks like it's fine then. So apparently, this back alley, you can use magic in the far back of it, like violent magic. Um, at least that's what the uh, wizard uh, implied.
Uh, let's see. Eat rations. There's no need, you're not hungry. Check hunger. Okay. So apparently there is an invisible hunger stat. But I'm not hungry, apparently, so. Still mid-afternoon. I have recovered a single health point. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can just run to improve my stamina. If I recall correctly, there is a spell when, when I was looking up stuff related to Baba Yaga, there is a spell that Sunset approaches already. There is a spell that I can use to get the hobo's attention at the waterfall. Oh, I bet that red thing is the uh, pull mandrake. Take mandrake. You wrench the mandrake plant free from the tombstone on which it has grown. Somehow you thought it would be a lot harder. You wonder if you did this right. There are trivels and twists in your hands until nothing is left. Astonished, you look at your empty hands. Oh, I just screwed myself over, didn't I? No, don't save! Okay. I thought it would stop me from... Uh... Yes, I want to be a hero. Uh, I thought it would stop me from... Uh, pulling it until it was nighttime. Oh yes, I, I... Okay. I think people kind of overblow uh, how much Sierra Games um, will let you screw yourself over. Uh, because in general, they, 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 they aren't as, um, they aren't as unforgiving as some people make them out to be. But yeah, like I feel like the rep everyone always points to King's Quest V when when they're talking about that. Which admittedly, yeah, King's Quest V is pretty bad, um, in that regard. Uh I would still say it's not the worst Sierra game in that regard that that honor I think would go to um, probably most of the games in the Space Quest series <laughs> but it's like yeah in, in, in general the games expect you to save which I'm 
perfectly fine with. And in in general, they're pretty good with making sure you don't um, screw yourself over, like, and not know it for, like, a super long time. They do occasionally mess up, but in general, it's fairly obvious that you've messed up. Honestly, King's Quest 1 and 2, I don't know if it's actually possible to get yourself stuck. Maybe in King's Quest 1. Sunset is still improvement. Oh, has sunset come? No, sunset is still approaching. You only need to use the stairs in King's Quest 1 uh, if you fail the... Rumpelstiltskin uh, question. Otherwise, you have the uh... <laughs> you have the uh... beanstalk, which is almost worse than the the Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... That'd be amusing. Yeah, the, f the, the first four games really loved their treacherous, uh... Navigation. The the beanstalk is the the funny thing about the beanstalk is that like the re a large reason why it's so difficult is because it works against what you'd expect it to be. The only part you need to be on the beanstalk is the legs, and that's why it's so easy to mess it up, because you're thinking, well, climbing, I have to make sure that the arms are on the beanstalk. No. <laughs> no, it's the legs, and that's a large reason why it's so difficult. Um... The stairs, by contrast, uh, in King's Quest 1, aren't really that difficult. Um, tedious, yes, but not terribly difficult. You're just sort of hoping for good RNG because there's a creature that can spawn on the steps that steals a random item. Oh yeah, the the moat bridge the night is still young okay actually let's keep running This must be the town graveyard. What a rundown place. It appears that the spirits frolic here during the dark hours. Oh, that 
worries me greatly. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do a pun there. Um, oh, at midnight? Shoot, you might be right. And... As the ghosts suck the life out of your body, and you crumple into the dust of the old graveyard, you think unspeakable thoughts of torture and torment directed at programmers, game designers, and vicious artists named Ken. <laughs> Oh gosh. Ooh. Uh, Peter, if you could please take Mandrake. Wrench the man. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I think it has to be done at. Midnight. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, and while dodging ghosts. But no, what's... <laughs> I think the worst uh, navigation thing in the King's Quest series is probably the winding path in King's Quest 3. Uh, that's... Um, I mean, I think it serves a good purpose. Like, I wouldn't remove it from the game. But it, it is rather, uh, scary. <laughs> and yeah, as, as far as I know, there's no way to, like, can I rest until midnight? Wait until midnight. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's I don't think there's any way to to wait. Yeah. Well, that that's part of the thing. There there is an area in that winding path in King's Quest 3 where Y your view is obstructed by a large rock. <laughs> oh, gosh. Still, though, I, I, I must say, I think, I think my ideal adventure game input would be sort of a combination of like this sort of movement where you have more direct control over the character's movement and um a point and click interface so basically you'd move your character around um or n no not even a point and click interface but just more a uh, sort of contextual interface I, I i i don't know the r ruminations i've had um over the years because I, I i like how this sort of input more it makes you feel more like you are the character instead of you're some third party indirectly controlling the character 
but I will admit that point-and-click adventures uh, make it a lot uh, make, make the games not only um, easier to play, but they also allow for more uh, intricate world geometry, if you will. I like 2D stuff like this, but like you, you can see that after they went to a point-and-click interface, the environments you were walking around became a lot more complex, uh, not only because of better computer hardware, uh, but also because they didn't have to concern themselves with how the player was going to walk from point A to point B. Um, so, uh, there, there's give and take. Yeah, graphic resolution. That, that's sort of what I was implying with um, Im improving hardware. Hmm. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> if I were playing a... So the thing is, is if I were playing a... A fighter, you know, I, I could... You know, kill things by this point to level myself up, but... As it is, I, I just... I, I don't I don't have the health to uh Oh, I'm getting tired, am I? Ooh, it's the middle of the night. Actually, I should probably save. Uh Okay, I am actually, like, super scared. Take Mandrake. You wrench the Mandrake plant free from the tombstone on which it has grown. You hear a scream like that of a dying child as you walk, as you yank the root from the ground. Um, take Mandrake. Ah, come on. Take Mandrake. There we go. Save. Grave after. Okay, so where am I now? Go to the goblins, then go straight up. Oh, don't like the look of the... So you made it back, did you? She is expecting you. Bye! Uh, I can't. It's been several days. This is my second playthrough. I played it originally several years ago. I don't remember when exactly. Hut of Brown. Now sit down. Paxo 
soon. Spirits of mist and creatures of bog transform my guest into the shape of a frog. I, I don't remember what voice exactly I gave her last time. This I vow stay there now. Once again you're a frog, and once again you can't move. You find it very Oh that that's the narrator. Yum yum, froggy frappe. Uh Did you bring me my mandrake like you promised? Yes. As you make a feeble croaking sound, you try to nod your head. Well, where is it? What's the matter? Got a frog in your throat? I suppose I'll have to turn you back into whatever it is you were. Pity, you're so much more appetizing this way. Creatures of bog and spirits of fog, return the true form to this rather dumb frog. Now, did you put it in your backpack? Ah, here it is. Kids, we have it! That's it, the final ingredient. Now we can make our greatest creation! Mandrake Moose! What's that, children? You think we should reward our lackey here? Very well, ex-frog. I'll tell you, I'll let you live this time. Next time, though, it's frog legs for sure. So go! What an awful creature to turn me into a frog. And you, you say to yourself, someday I must return the favor. Okay, uh, I'm going to see if I can rob one of these goblins, and then I'll make my way... Oh! Okay! Run! <laughs> That's three goblins. I'm, I'm not taking on three goblins today. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I honestly, like, deeply, deeply dislike the VGA version of this game. Um, I didn't like it at all, so. This, to me, is the, and actually, <laughs> actually something cool here. Oh, goblin! Did I outrun you? No, I didn't. Save. Cast zap. Please die before you kill me. Thank you. Search. Search body. Ten silver coins! Yeah! I'm rich! Okay, and I'll just 
Oop. Cast zap. Cast calm. Okay, I can't use calm here. Zap. And I'll just keep doing this to level up my magic. Until I'm drained, and then I'll sleep. Sleep. You sleep comfortably among the flowers. You awake as the sun begins to rise. Okay. And that fully restored everything. Okay. So, I realized this was kind of a short one, especially with all of the technical problems. But that's about all the time I have for tonight, so thank you for joining me. Uh, we got to see Baba Yaga again, which, uh, I love Baba Yaga. Like, just in general, whenever something involves Baba Yaga, it's probably going to be kind of cool. At least in my very limited experience. I mean, if nothing else, Baba Yaga, a witch in a house that has chicken legs, it's just so wonderfully weird and bizarre, and I love it, and I also love the gatekeeper skull. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.